In this video, I will show you how to appear offline on Roblox. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video, and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So as you can see, I'm currently on roblox.com. I'm on my homepage. Now there's a couple of things that we're going to do to appear offline on Roblox. Now the first thing we're going to do is actually come into our settings. So if you're on like a desktop PC like me, what you want to do is come up to the top right hand corner and click the gear icon up here. And then you want to come and click on to settings. If you're on a mobile device and you're using the Roblox app, then if you actually click the three dots in the bottom right hand corner, you can then scroll down until you get to settings. Now from here, what you're going to do first is come to the menu on the left hand side and you want to click on to privacy. Next, what you want to do is actually the first thing I would say is underneath the communication section here, you actually want to change these drop down boxes and what you want to do is change this to no one. So for example, where it says who can message me, you want to switch this to no one and the same with the app and things like that. You'll see it saving successfully every time you make a change to your settings. Also, if you scroll down slightly under the other settings section, again, you want to do the same here. So set everything to no one. And this means that no one can message you whilst you're online. So you're going to appear offline to other people. So the next thing I'm going to suggest is actually to block your friends. Now by doing this, of course, again, they're not going to be able to message you or see any of your activity online. In order to do this, what you're going to want to do is come to your friends, which is in the menu on the left hand side. And what you want to do is give that a click. And that's going to take you across to a page like this. So because this is a demo account and I use for tutorials, you can see I currently have no friends on this profile. However, what I'm going to do is actually search for one of my alternative accounts. So I'm just going to come to the search by the top and I'm just going to go ahead and type in one of my alternate accounts. And then of course we want to search in people. So you can see uh, this is my account here. So what I'm going to do is give that a click. And once you've clicked onto that, then you'll be able to come across and block them by clicking the three dots here and clicking onto block user. Again, you're going to get a little pop up. So you just want to go ahead and click pop block to confirm that. Now, one thing I do want to note at this point is if you are friends with that person, what it's going to do is actually unfriend that person when you block them. But what you can do is just basically friend them again when you want to and just send a quick message basically saying, you know, um, you've unfriended them by accident. So with that being said, I just want to move on to the third and final method. And in my personal opinion, probably the most effective method for appearing offline on Roblox. Now, this next method involves you creating a alt account, like an alternative account. And what this is, is like a second account. Of course, you won't have things like your Robux or your um, game experiences and stuff like that saved onto that account. But it will enable you to play games in peace on Roblox, as of course, you won't have any friends. So you can use like a different name and an anonymous account. And in turn, that's going to enable you to play Roblox in peace. So if you want to do that, all you want to do is basically sign out of your current account. And once you've logged out, you want to click on the green sign up button. Of course, you do want to use a different email to your main account because it will be a separate email that will be linked. And you would just go through and fill out the sign up form here as normal. Click sign up and you have a alternate alternative account you can use. So I hope this tutorial helped you out today. If it did, I'd really appreciate it. If you were to drop down below the video, leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.